Hello everyone! Ever since the year 2020 began, the world has been hit with multiple catastrophes one after the other. People are no stranger to the latest pandemic and its multiple waves with several variants. In addition, forest fires, floods, droughts, wars, and hostile takeovers have happened worldwide. Joining the list is our newest entrant from 2022. The eruption of the Tonga underwater volcano near New Zealand was literally groundbreaking. Before we dive deep into the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you would like more coverage on global events around the world, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of our latest uploads. Let's get into the video. In the Kermadec Tonga subduction zone between New Zealand and Fiji lies the submarine volcano Hunga Tonga Hunga Apai. The volcano has had a history of major explosions that have transformed the landmass above it. The twin islands of Hunga Tonga and Hunga Hagpai have undergone mergers and separations owing to the explosions. The last massive explosion in the area occurred in the early 12th century, followed by multiple minor explosions. On January 15, 2022, the volcano faced its biggest eruption yet, resulting in a puff of ash throughout the atmosphere and tsunamis to form in the nearby coastal areas. The eruption lasted approximately 11 hours. Scientists are yet to determine the cause of the latest explosion, but it has been identified as the biggest volcanic eruption of the 21st century. Mirroring Pompeii and Vesuvius, researchers claim a huge catastrophe was prevented thanks to the volcano being underwater and not above ground. Scientists have compared the magnitude of the explosion to that of a nuclear missile. NASA noted that the ash was spread across 100 miles and debris was scattered everywhere in the nearby regions. The sound of the explosion near New Zealand traveled as far as Alaska. Pressure waves from the blast went around the globe twice, triggering ripples across all oceans and high seas. Geologists pegged the energy released to an equivalent of anywhere between 5 and 30 megatons of TNT. All forms of telecommunication with the Twin Islands were cut off instantaneously during the 11 hours of the explosion. The eruption could not be dismissed as the average underwater volcanic eruption for two reasons. One is the size of its explosive nature and the ripples it dispelled throughout the atmosphere. The second reason is that the eruption has proven itself to be perplexing to scientists. The eruption emitted a cloud of ash around 35 miles in height, and yet the actual volume of ash in the cloud was less than proportionate. Geologists have failed to explain the reason and are compelled to restructure the existing understanding and consensus on volcanic eruptions. People living on the island of Tonga have been impacted the most. Since the volcano is more than 40 miles away from the nearest coastline, the loss of human lives has been minimized. Only three deaths have been directly connected to the eruption, which, although unfortunate, is quite less for an eruption of this size. A tsunami of more than 50 feet in height directly hit the island following the explosion, displacing more than 1,500 people from their homes. The monetary loss is estimated to be around $17 million for the island. This includes the foregone income of the lives lost, damage to structures due to tsunamis, expenses involved in cleaning the blanket of ash lying on top of almost all land and buildings near the coastline, recovery of clean drinking water in the region polluted due to ash contamination, and chemical damage to crops and forests. In addition, the island is still tormented by earthquakes, and scientists believe that the volcano is likely to stay active for some more time before going dormant again. The explosion also led to submerging the connecting land between the Hunga Tonga Island and the Hunga Hapai Island. The above-ground volcanic crater in between the two has gone completely underwater. Satellite imagery recorded after January 15 shows the islands as two separate pieces of land with water in between. The United Kingdom has decided to intervene in the form of an automated monitoring boat following the explosion. A 12-meter-long robotic boat is set to spend a few weeks on top of the water covering the volcano to collect data about the volcano's magma patterns. The boat is equipped with submersible cameras, sensors to record the volcano's movements, and transmit it to awaiting scientists. The boat will also keep an eye on geological factors surrounding the ocean, such as the wavelength, heat levels, oxygen levels, any sudden tremors and to detect sudden eruptions and warn the people of Tonga on a timely basis. In addition, the data will be made available to Seakit International, Max Limer's parent company, on a real-time basis for analysts to identify patterns of oncoming disasters. And that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on future volcanic eruptions? What can we do to prevent further eruptions of this magnitude? 
Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos covering global news. Thanks for watching.